No Nigerian is immune to corruption. It is a cancer with us, says Tinubu. Now to the news in full. The president made this known in Abuja while declaring open the Sixth Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ESCC National Judicial Institute, NJI's workshop for justices and judges. President Bola Sinubu has stated that no Nigerian is immune from corruption, saying it is a cancer which continues to deny the nation the full benefit of its god giving resources. Tinubu on Monday called on Nigerians from all walks of life to come together and form formidable unifying forces against corruption, against economic and financial crimes and other acts of corruption. Well, you should start with them, they are the leaders. If you want to stop corruption, start from from your own people, start from your cabinet, start from everyone that is corrupt in your party, in your government, in your cabinet, in your mini your ministry. You should you should um try to make corruption end first with your with your cabinet first before it goes down to to the public. Sinobu made this known in Abuja while declaring open the Sixth Economic and Financial Crime Commission, ESCC, National Judicial Institute, NJI's workshop for justices and judges. Speaking through his vice, Kashim Shetima, is always speaking through somebody. The president said, no Nigerian is immune from corruption, a cancer which continues to deny the nation the full benefit of its God-given resources. Rather than look up only to the anti-corruption agencies for a solution to this malaise, I believe it is in our enlightened collective interest to close ranks and aggressively tackle this common enemy. Tinobu also applauded the rising improvement in the prosecution of corruption matters owing to positive development in the justice sector reforms. He admitted that challenges impeding the speedy adjudication of corruption cases should be frontally, frontally tackled. Some of them, he noted, include frivolous application and appeals, intimidation of judges by counsel, Judgment not based on facts of cases but on technicalities. While he commended the EFCC for its courageous and focused efforts in combating corrupt practices and pledged more support to the Commission, he noted we will also continue to support the work of the EFCC to ensure that it continues to deliver a statutory man mandate without let or hindrance. The executive chairman of the EFCC, Mr. Ola, Olukoyede amplified other challenges affecting speedy trial of corruption cases. According to him, the specter of frequent adjournment of high profile corruption cases arising from frivolous applications, conflicting orders by court of coordinate jurisdiction in corruption cases, interprets contempt orders held at the Commission's leadership, unwarranted orders of injunction restraining the Commission from investigating cases are among a plethora of issues that borders the EFCC. Owing to some of these challenges, especially the incidents of suspects, of suspects facing criminal investigation, rushing to court to obtain orders of injunction, restraining the EFCC from inviting, investigating, interrogating, and arresting them, Olukoyede stated, that the Commission was unable to conduct investigation in at least 10 states of the Federation. In spite of all this, the EFCC board stressed that the Commission has been undeterred in its work engaging stakeholders locally and globally to tackle the monster of corruption. As a Commission, our efforts at integrating stakeholders in the fight against corruption are continuous. Earlier this year, we held a stakeholders' dialogue on the issue of cybercrime, where we equally unveiled the Commission's new the Commission's new 
focus on corruption, preventing with the establishment of Fraud Risk Assessment and Control, FRAC. We are convinced that it is ultimately more profitable to, be, to prevent than to investigate and prosecute corruption cases. The workshop themed integrating stakeholders in curbing economic and financial crimes, com crimes drew a mammoth crowd of stakeholders, policymakers, top government officials, civil society organizations, and anti-corruption bodies. It's just the reality that corruption is the order of the day in Nigeria. All these people, they feel that they are above the law once they are in power. What is the name of that um, gov um, Kogi State Governor? Yeah, here below. See the way he has been evading, evading um, justice since. They've been trying to arrest him, but it's not been possible. Because why? He's been hiding. Corruption has eaten deep into our country. And whenever it is time for them to answer to their queries, they start coming up with one, one jammer or the other. It is either they are fainting in court, or they have neck pain, or they have one sickness or the other. You've done something wrong, but you don't want to answer to what you have done. Sky Chica said whenever he takes Puri Miri, he can speak anyhow. Bala blue, okay now. Zubairu said it is, it is true that corruption has become a canker war and has eaten deep into our flesh. We don't practice what is in our gospel, both Muslims and Christians, yes, with the way we are so religious in this country. And if we are saying that we are religious and we obey God's word or we obey, obey the Quran, then corruption should not even be going on in our country at all. But even with our religion, with our so-called faith and everything, corruption has eaten deep into all of us, both the governors or both individuals. There are some individuals that are so greedy. We are complaining about the government, but if we enter there, we are going to do worse than them. So corruption has eaten really deep into our country. Sally said, it gets some people which the word of corruption shouldn't be heard in their mouth, e.g. tipping, because now through corruption, it entered that position. Well, corruption is the order of the day in our country. And these people that are saying that corruption should not take place, it should start with themselves first. Start from yourself, start with your governor, start with your minister, start with your... Let them be held accountable for whatever it is that they have done. And in your said, corruption doesn't fight corruption. Evil agenda doesn't make things better. And that is just the truth. My listeners, over to you. Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section. See you some other time. Bye.